It's Miss Lacey with More Help. More Help is a nonprofit organization based out of Tampa, Florida. Normally, we teach in the classrooms kindergarten through 12th grade. Today, I'm going to be bringing one of our primary lessons to you at home. Today, we're going to be talking about our teeth. Now, I'm going to ask some questions, and you go ahead and shout out the answers. So, my first question for you, what do our teeth do for us? Yeah, they help us eat, right? We have to eat. I know I like to eat. I'm sure you do too. So those teeth help us eat. What else do our teeth help us do? Yeah, they help us talk, what I'm doing right now. Now, some of you might notice at home, if you've lost a baby tooth, that your voice might sound a little different. And that's because of missing a tooth. And our teeth do one more thing for us. They help us smile. Let me see your beautiful smiles at home. Very good. All right, now it's very important that we have healthy habits for our teeth. So can you shout out some things that you can do to make sure that you are having healthy teeth? What do you think? Yeah, definitely, brushing. What else? Flossing, very good. Can you tell me something else? Definitely going to see the dentist. Now, what's something you do three times a day? Maybe have a couple snacks in between? Yes, eat. We want to make sure you're eating healthy foods. Well, right now I want to talk a little bit more about your teeth. I have a tooth model I'd like to show you. Now, this tooth model doesn't really look like what you're seeing in your mouth when you look in the mirror, is it? No. This is the root of your tooth, and it's covered by your gums. We only see the top part of our tooth, the crown. Now, some of you may have heard of a cavity. A cavity is when you develop a hole in your tooth. Now, a cavity starts when you're not brushing all the plaque off of your teeth. And plaque can turn into acid that eats a hole into your tooth. And that's what I'm going to show you with this tooth model. So my tooth looks healthy, right? But if we turn it like this, you can see the hole in the tooth, the cavity. But take a look at the inside. That doesn't look good, does it? If we develop a cavity, we want to make sure that we see the dentist so they can take care of this for us. So it doesn't spread any further into the root of our tooth or to other teeth. So, a cavity. You might be asking, like, well, what exactly is a cavity? Let me show you a math problem that will help you understand. So if we have a tooth, and it's in our mouth, right? And in our mouth we have germs. Everyone has germs in their mouth. And then we add sugar. So sugar is in the things that we eat and drink. If we don't brush that sugar away, uh, it'll turn into plaque. The plaque is that soft, sticky, gooey, sometimes yellowy substance on your tooth. We want to make sure we're brushing it away. But if we forget sometimes, it could turn into acid and the acid would turn into a cavity. So it's very important that we're brushing our teeth two times a day to make sure that we're removing those germs and sugars off of our teeth so our teeth stay nice and healthy and strong. Now, brushing our teeth. How should we brush our teeth? What do we use? Yeah, we use a toothbrush, right? Now, can I share my toothbrush with my brother or sister? No. Because remember we talked about those germs that live inside our mouth? We don't want to share our germs with our siblings. So make sure that you have your own toothbrush. Now what goes on our toothbrush? Yeah, toothpaste. Do you think we should use a whole glob and cover our entire toothbrush? No. All we need is just a dot not a lot. Now when you're purchasing toothpaste, I want to make sure that you're buying a toothpaste that has fluoride. Fluoride is great for your teeth and it helps your teeth grow strong and healthy. 
Okay, so we're going to brush our teeth. Hmm, but how do we brush our teeth? I want to show you five areas to brush in your mouth. Now, we're going to brush the front of our teeth, the backs of our teeth, the tops of our teeth, our molars all the way in the back, and your tongue. Now I have a special way that I like to brush our teeth and more helps. What we like to say is wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. So say that with me, wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Now when we wiggle, we're going in a circular motion. And when we brush, we're brushing away from our gums. So wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Now we'll make sure we do the bottoms. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. So we brush the fronts. Now we need to brush the backs of the teeth. So we might need to turn our toothbrush at a different angle. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. So what we do on the tops of the mouth, we'll do on the bottom. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. You want to make sure that you're touching every single tooth in your mouth. Now we're going to brush the tops. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Now on the top set, wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Now we want to make sure that we don't forget the molars in the very back because they chop up and grind our food. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. And then the last place that we're going to brush is our tongue. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. Wiggle, wiggle, brush, brush. So, we've just brushed five areas in our mouth. The front, the back, the tops, our molars, and our tongue. So, very good. Now, we said we want to brush for two minutes. Now, we also want to make sure that we floss once a day. Now, some of you may have floss that's on the long string, or you might have the picks like this. Now, I want to make sure you do not saw back and forth in between your teeth. You want to go up and down in between each tooth to remove the plaque in between your teeth so you don't develop a cavity in between your teeth. So, up and down, up and down, scraping along the sides of every single tooth in your mouth. Now, if you might be a little young to do that by yourself, so make sure an adult is helping you. It's very important that we're flossing once a day. Okay, so we've talked about cavities. We've talked about the five areas to brush, flossing, what kind of toothpaste to use. We want to make sure that we're also eating healthy food. Healthy food, it makes your body healthy, and makes your teeth healthy as well. So, you might like a carrot to chomp into, some grapes. Ooh, calcium, food with calcium in it is great for your teeth. So things like milk and yogurt and cheese are great snacks for your teeth. Now, I know we sometimes like cake and cookies and sodas. Those are okay too, every once in a while. But let's make sure we're filling our body with healthy fruits and veggies and that we're drinking water as well. Now, we've talked about the five areas to brush. We've talked about how long to brush. But 
there's someone else we should see about our tea. Do you know who that person is? Yes, the dentist. You want to make sure that you're visiting the dentist two times a year. Ooh, two is, seems like a good number for us today. We brush our teeth two times a day for two minutes and visit the dentist two times a year. Friends, thank you for learning about your teeth with me today. I hope you take this back home and teach your other siblings about how to have strong, healthy teeth. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hi friends. To learn more about your teeth and keep them strong and healthy, stay tuned and watch Magi the Magic Dragon. Once upon a time, there lived the most brave and handsome dragon in all the kingdom. His name was Magi. His body was covered by armored plated scales that shone bright purple in the morning light, and his belly was covered with brilliant bands of stripes. But the best part of this dragon was his teeth. They were like rows of pearls that sparkled so white that it made the townspeople cheer. Each day, the townspeople showered him with healthy food and presents. One day, two children gave Magi the dragon very sweet and sugary gumdrops. Never tasting sugar before, the dragon loved it so very, very much. His belly turned bright colors as he chewed the yummy treats and ate them every day. But soon, he began to feel bad. His front tooth started to hurt, and he had a hard time eating. Do you know what happened to Magi the dragon and why his tooth hurt? You won't believe what was in the dragon's mouth. There was a sugar ogre swinging his ax right onto a tooth. What happens if we don't take good care of our teeth like the dragon? We may get a cavity. A cavity is a hole that forms in the tooth. Sugar ogres cause cavities. Food like snacks, crackers, candy, and many types of sweet drinks contain lots of sugar. All that sugar makes the ogre super strong, so he can dig deep inside a tooth, even out of reach of a toothbrush. There, he's free to make the hole bigger and bigger. Ouch! So how can you prevent your mouth from having cavities like the dragon? It's easy as one, two, three. Number one, brushing. Prevent cavities by brushing two times a day for two minutes. When you brush your teeth, remember to brush all five areas of your mouth. The front, back, top, very back corners, and your tongue. Always use a circular motion when brushing and sweep the toothbrush away from your gums. Flossing is also important for healthy teeth. Gently move the floss up and down along each tooth. Number two, eat nutritious foods and drinks. Another way to keep your teeth and mouth healthy is to eat nutritious foods and drink water instead of sodas and juices. Vegetables and fruits are very good for your teeth, as well as foods that have calcium like milk, yogurt, cheese, and broccoli. Number three, dentist and sealants. Visit a dentist twice a year to help keep your mouth clean and healthy. The dentist will check your teeth and may want to put a sealant on your back teeth or molars. Just like the armor plating on Magi the dragon's back, the sealant covers and protects your molars. Your teeth have grooves in them, which can be hard to brush. Sugar ogres like to hide out in these grooves and make cavities. A sealant is a tiny plastic coating that goes on top of your molars to help protect them and make them easier to brush. The best part of all is that it's fun and does not hurt and is not scary at all. First, your tooth is cleaned with a special cool toothbrush. Next, a gel is spread on your tooth. This usually tastes really, really good. Your tooth will be rinsed with water and dried with a lot of air. Finally, the sealant is put on your teeth and a bright magic light hardens it in a few seconds. It doesn't hurt at all, and there are no shots. Yay! Magi the dragon followed all three rules, and now he felt better and his teeth sparkled once again. The townspeople cheered as the dragon swooped down and put the children on his back. They rode high in the sky until all you could see was the flash of their shiny bright teeth.